so this is how the firebase console looks like so whenever you sign in with a fire, fire firebase console so we have to create firstly project then we have to name that project so i am giving the name like demo project so we can continue here after that we have to enable uh, google analytics for the project then continue so you you can create a new account or uh, you can use our firebase default account if you have so i am going with a fire a default account and creating a project so after creating project we are going through the authentication then firestore and uh, real time db so we see the how authentication we we can apply authentication on any project then how to create a real time db and a firestore in the firebase so let's finishing up with this creation process okay so project was created then we see the project uh, means project console so here you can see uh, you can uh, create a app for ios then android or web app so we are continuing with the web app so here you have to mention your web app name so uh, then register our app so after you can get the uh, how we, we can use uh, firebase in our project so in a initial command like uh, installing the npm package then this was the firebase config we have to uh, copy in our project like you can see here i have get firebase.js file so we have to mention firebase config here then we have to initialize the app using the firebase config object then you can use uh, the app in our get auth then firestore and get storage also so next was continue to the console so after this uh, i can go you through with the authentication part so you have to enable authentication in your project you can go with the authentication in a build so you we are starting with the get started so here you can see uh, the auth, auth methods uh, provided by the firebase so you can start with the email and password then phone then anonymous user then also you can use the third party providers uh, like google facebook pay games microsoft yahoo etc so for this uh, session we are going with uh, email and password authentication so you have to enable email and password so when uh, if you want to send a email link to user whenever it uh, get registered or sign in so you can enable this or you can disable also this so we are start getting it with this so you can see here uh, that provider name and it is enabled so whenever the user registered it will uh, get into this table so next we see with the firestore database so uh, if you have to uh, access it you can get it with a build then firestore database so we are creating a database so you can start production mode also or you can uh, for your console you can use the test mode also so we are getting it with the test mode then next then you have to select a server from which location you are accessing that so uh, i am using asia is to enable so the fire, fire store was getting created it will take time for 5 to 10 minutes so for that i am giving a demo about the uh, firebase firestore chat app uh, our code and all so this is how the firebase config look like then we have to initialize the app and get, uh, if you are uh, need the authentication on your uh, project then you can use a get auth using the firebase auth uh, library 
then we are accessing a DB from a get fire store uh, using the Firebase slash store uh, library. Then uh, we have like a login page, home page, and register page. In the app section, you can see this. Uh, then I think, yeah. So here was our database for this project was created already. So I going through that. So this was a sample project means uh, for this demo we are created this. So this was look like this. You can set rules here also. So uh, the rules was already there, which was provided by the file store itself. Whenever you can create, you can modify it or uh, get more rules in this. So uh, I am uh, going through how we implemented this. So this was a Firestore demo. So this was a login page. So there was no user. Uh, you can see here in our authentication table. So we are creating one user using the register feature. So you have to give a name of that user, then email of that user and password. So you are registering here. Okay. So you can see here in authentication table, the user was created. So you see here the user list uh, uh, by uh, which we get this uh, means uh, which user was uh, uh, which user uh, was created in our demo project that was here. So I think Sorry, sorry, it was not that project. So yes, this was the project. So you can see here the other user which whichever registered from that platform. The show we can we are showing this list here also. So you can get list all here. Then uh, in a Firestore, we also get instance of this user whenever it was created. So I can show you that also in our user table. So you can see here that Shubham one was created, the user ID, the name, and is online is true. So we start with our application. So I just message Suraj from here. You can see a few seconds ago. Then you can see the last message was created for this user. So it was shared by Shubham and to the Suraj high message and the time 1 October for this. Then you can see it in the message also. So we created here the nested uh, collection as Suraj discussed uh, already. So in this chat, the another document was present and this was the message. So let me go you through the uh, code. So for registering, we use uh, create user with email and password, which is provided by the Firebase library itself. So we have to pass their uh, email password uh, of the user. So we are creating a user uh, table using a user and set doc using set doc method provided by the fire firebase firestore library and after that if you are logging in with that uh, you can sign in with the email and password and if you are using a third party applications uh, that was also get you, uh, that was also provided by the firebase auth library so let me go you through the code of the how chat apps works so you can see here on snapshot method it was used when you are, you are getting a real time updates from your database. If there was any creation, updation or deleted, you can get at that time uh, using on snapshot method. So we are uh, 
getting it using the own snapshot then uh, we have we are updating doc using update dot update doc uh, and we have to get uh, i mention id whichever we are uh, updating we are getting a doc if you are uh, means you you have to uh, access only one doc then we are using a get doc method uh, we have to mention id also here then uh, for the creation process there are two more methods add doc and set doc so add doc is a method which uh, uses for uh, the doc, uh, newly document created and set doc was uh, used for uh, if there was any updation or we have to only add anything in that doc we are using a set doc then uh, this was about the fire store uh, you you have the in, uh, in you can set the indexes and all properties from the here also and uh, you have mentioning the usage from uh, you can see the usage from here also so for now the snapshot read value was here uh, so next was uh, next demo was on the real time db so you can see here the real time db uh, how it is looks and like uh, so as i said uh, it was a json tree format uh, so it was look like this then if you are uh, using the nested then this was like this so you can see the instances here created so for now I am creating a new user using a real-time DB demo. So the same steps which we are uh, using in the Firestore, we are used that also in the uh, real-time DB also. So you can see here same config file was there, but we are uh, getting uh, database action access using the get database uh, rather than the get uh, Firestore. So we are using the same method for a login and registering. You can see here create with a email and password and uh, login it with us email and password. So next was I am creating a one document uh, one user for this session. So the user was registering. So you can see here when uh, you can see here the uh, yellow light was pop up. So the user was created instantly. So let me go you through this. Yes. So this was created user at that time. So created at we can uh, share that this was the uh, st storing time and uh, seconds in the created at by the real time DB itself. So email of the user is online to name of the user and user ID. So we are accessing all the data using the user ID if you, we are providing authentication and all. If you are not uh, getting into that part, you can uh, use this using the node part, uh, node ID also. So next uh, was how it looks like. So you, you can see here, so I am, uh, getting a message to the Chris Ronaldo from here. So you can see here hi uh, timing of that message. So you can see here that node was created just now in that chat section nested then the chat ID and you can see here the user and all. So we can set rules also for here uh, for the real time DB. Uh, we can back up this these plans or uh, we have to upgrade uh, the real time db usage and all so you can get this from here so i am going uh, i am telling now the what method we are using to create object and all so uh, firstly on value so on value get us know about whatever the updation or cre uh, creation uh, or delete uh, deleting any node or creating node uh, the on value was uh, triggered whenever it was updated or deleted or created uh, so it was a real uh, it was a real time listener for the real time db uh, so we are uh, using this for the real time update and then 
we can uh, see the select user and all. Uh, so for update, you can use a normal update method provided by the uh, Firebase database. So we have to uh, mention a reference of uh, every uh, every document or uh, anything uh, we are accessing DB or anything. So we have to mention refer everywhere in, in uh, real time DB. So we can use a get method for uh, getting instance, uh, getting node of that uh, message uh, using the ID, uh, node ID. Then uh, for creating, you can use a push method or set method. So push method was like, uh, it was a, means a, it was a, creating a new node uh, for that instance uh, whenever it was uh, triggered uh, by the push or set was like we have to mention their id and for that id the uh, the updation or creation process was uh, gated uh, by the set method uh, 